There you go, Milo, you're in. Hey guys, Renny here with Off Grid Trek. Uh, just out camping with a few people for the long weekend here in February. Family day for us in Alberta, President's Day for down in the U.S. And just going to give you a quick idea of one of the setups I have, which is the eight-person Russian bear tent, which is the Up 5. I know I've done videos on, <coughs> excuse me, the Hexagon, the Up 2. I believe I've done the Up 5 as well. But out of all of them, this one's my favorite. Now, I didn't bring the wood stove. Uh, what I did is I have one of the planner. These are like um, the military grade diesel heaters. So I'm just going to show you this, show you the setup on the inside. Just going to be a quick video. But that's it there. It's a four kilowatt one. We do have these on our website now. We actually are selling the ones that are army green, just so you know. So the thing I really like about this, there's a lot of good diesel heaters on, on the market. And to be blunt, there's a lot that are not as good, uh, the inexpensive Chinese ones. But the thing I really like about this specific model is it's been proven at elevation. Uh, it'll work very well at high elevation. And I'll just kind of move around here and show you guys. This is how it looks here. Everything uh, excluding the hose will actually fold up. And then you can actually open up these latches and there's right inside is where it can all go. It's running right now. I'm not going to do that. Um, but the reason I like it, like I said, it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's very lightweight. I've never had an issue with it not running um, at elevation or at higher elevation or lower elevation. It definitely puts out the heat. I would say last night we were minus 20, maybe even a tiny bit chillier than that at the coldest. And uh, with the diesel heater set up, it was more than warm enough in there. And I'll open this up and you'll see the space that it was heating. And I was laying just on the floor. So give me a second here. I'll open this up. Now the Russian bear tent, this up five. Of course, Milo is going to want to go inside. But this is it here, guys. Give you a quick idea, okay? And then I'll go inside in a second. But this is it. Uh, this is an eight-person tent. It does have the option of a, a wood stove, which I didn't bring. But yeah, I've just got the hose pumped in right here. Uh, we're just heating somebody's water here that uh, had frozen overnight. And um, what I'm running it off of here, I've got a battery box. Now, this is not on our website yet. We are testing it. Uh, we're going to make some changes to this specific battery box. But it will take uh, different chemistries of batteries. That's how I've been running it. Now, we got here probably... We were set up by, I would say roughly one o'clock maybe two o'clock yesterday and we've only gone through six percent of the battery i don't know if you can see that six to seven percent of the battery is what we've gone through um running it from then till now because i wanted to see how well this battery box works it does have three um uh, cigarette lighter plugins and they're rated for 15 amps so that's very very important so the higher grade diesel heaters you can use those because the inexpensive Chinese diesel heaters require only up to 10 amp of, of um, uh, power from the cigarette lighter plug-in. And that's what you're going to find most power stations or even your vehicle. That's all they offer. So the way we've set this up, you could use that if you want. But I just hardwired it with one of our Anderson SB connectors. This is what we use on our solar generators. Uh, let me rephrase that. On our solar blankets. That's what we offer and a lot of our cabling is for that as well. But either way, yeah, this put out a lot of heat. I was toasty warm last night. Um, just had the sleeping bag set up right here. Uh, yeah, very, very comfortable. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a set, an idea of the setup. It does have two windows. This is actually a door right here. And then, of course, you've got the other door here. And yeah, I've been in this unit um and seen shooting stars through the windows while sleeping here with the wood stove which would go right into this spot right here just to give you an idea let me just open this up so there's your hole that's where the uh the stove pipe would go through but i've been in this in minus 40 with the wood stove going and it's more than warm enough yeah out with a good group of people we got overland alberta here we got sasquatch overland yep got more coming from over here there were a couple other people that were with us. Uh, yep, yeah, and you can hear the dogs. They're coming right now. 
there were a couple other people with us, but they had to take off. But uh, yeah, this is our setup for the weekend. Hopefully everybody's having a great long weekend. Uh, definitely enjoy and yeah, keep, keep warm. We, we definitely are with the fire and everybody's got their diesel heaters. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Um, come spring, we'll have that new battery box on our website. If you're interested in the planner diesel heaters, like I said, they are army green, the ones that we're offering. Um, and we can definitely help you out with those. It is about a three week wait because they're very, very much in demand right now. Okay, we'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, have a great weekend guys. Okay, bye then.